Hello, I'm Andrew. Today I would like to teach you how to find the molar mass of ammonium carbonate. I have a nice little table to help us out. Take a look. Bam. So the first thing is we're going to write the elements down that we see. So we've got nitrogen, we've got hydrogen, we've got carbon, and oxygen. Then we're going to write the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now if you don't see a subscript at the bottom of an element, simply write in a 1 there, because that's what it is assumed to be. Now the total number of atoms for nitrogen is not one because you have one nitrogen in the ammonium uh, polyatomic anion. Uh, you have though two ammoniums and therefore you'd have two nitrogens. In other words, simply take the inner subscript, multiply it by the outer subscript there to find the total. Okay, so you got two nitrogens. Same thing for hydrogen. Hydrogen has a subscript of four, but it also has an outer subscript of two. So you multiply them together, so there's a total of eight hydrogens. Carbon has a one, subscript of one, so that's all, and oxygen is three. Then we're simply going to take those number of atoms and multiply by the mass of each element. That's where the periodic table comes into play. So hydrogen's mass is 1.01, .01, carbon is 12.01, .01, nitrogen is 14.01, .01, and oxygen is 16. So those are the masses we're going to write down. So 14.01 .01 for nitrogen, hydrogen was 1.01, .01, carbon was 12.01, .01, and oxygen was 16. I don't even know what kind of a number that is. Okay, there we go. All right, and then to find the total mass of the element in the compound, we're simply going to multiply the row on a cross. So the total mass here of nitrogen is going to be 28.02. The total mass of hydrogen is then 8.08. .08. The total mass of carbon is then 12.01. .01. And the total mass of oxygen is going to be 48. And that's a 14. 48. Okay, and then to find the finally the total mass of the entire compound, all you got to simply do is add this column on up. All right, so 96.11, that's the total mass. And the units here are grams per mole because we're finding molar mass. Now you know how to find the molar mass of ammonium carbonate. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to helping you with more problems. By the way, check out our channel. We've got thousands of videos out there for you. We'd love to help you out with more. Take care.